Good morning guys, good morning internet. This is EJ back again with another video for us to take a look at, for us to review, for me to dissect, for me to make fun of. I'm just joking. I'm not going to make fun of my art. Um, but I am going to talk about the process uh, because this is really what my aim for the channel is. It's more of like a supplemental kind of art education kind of deal where I just do art and I just talk about it and talk about my process. Uh, so yeah, if you've been in the channel, you've kind of noticed that this has been my MO, my mode of operation. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, let us talk about what is going on. Um, this is going to be a very short video because uh, this is a speed paint done very, very quickly. And uh, so yeah, this video is going to be very, very short. So I won't be able to talk as much. So I'm going to try and squeeze in as much information as I can in the 17 minutes that we have together. So yeah, um, let's talk real quick about the subject for the art and where the art came from and how it came about and yada da 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 and all that good stuff. Okay, so I was part of conceptart.org. I've been mentioning that quite a few times in my video. I'm sure you guys are uh, aware that I was a member of conceptart.org when it was around. It's not around anymore. It's really sad. Um, but they have a forum there called the Daily Sketch Group, and they get they post poems all the time. It's really cool, you know, because when you're having creative block and you don't know what to draw, you know, but you know you want to draw it, then just go visit that website and you'll get a prompt. But that was back in the day, obviously. But the prompt for that day was a cantankerous specimen. And I kid you not, I have no idea what cantankerous means. It was like, it was very surprising because I've never ran into that word before. And so it caught my attention, you know, because even though that was like the post of the day, you know, whenever I go to the forum, which you just saw just not too long ago, just a second ago, I visited it. But whenever I go visit the daily sketch group, you know, I browse through all the posts, you know, to see if there's anything that I fancy more. Um, and this one really caught my attention because I've never ran into the word cantankerous before. So I had to Google it and look it up. And yeah, so I remember doing that and I was like, wow, okay, that's cool. I'm going to figure out what it meant. But from what I remember, a cantankerous specimen uh, or a cantankerous, that word is an adjective. Uh, I guess it means feisty, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, let me just double check. So I'm going to go Google it real quick. Uh, let me pull up my Google Chrome and look up cantankerous meaning. What does it mean? Bad tempered. It says bad tempered, argumentative, and uncooperative. Okay. Um, a crusty cantankerous old man. I was thinking it had something to do with uh, territorial, <laughs> um, like territorial uh, animals. Because the word specimen, I guess, threw me off, and so I thought that cantankerous is a adjective mainly used for animals and not for people. But apparently, it's used. <laughs> describe people who are argumentative I okay I guess I stand corrected uh, sort of because I mean feisty kind of goes along those lines but anyways okay so a cantankerous specimen I never ran into that word before um, real quick this was this happened in 2018 so I'm just like looking back at this um, so yeah in 2018 I looked it up and obviously I had to relook it up again now in 2019 because I forgot what the word cantankerous means so but now that we are educated and we are in the same program at least you guys know where the idea for this artwork came from and so yeah I'm drawing a specimen a creature uh, which I'm not actually very fond of doing I'm you know out of all the things that I draw often enough or out of all the things that I draw, um, creatures are just one of those things that I do not draw often enough. I don't know why. Um, and I get inspired by them. Uh, there's this artist, Bobby Rebolts, Rebolts, Rebholz. I am so sorry I'm butchering your name. Um, really famous one. He's very well known. If you guys, you know, cruise to Art Station or ConceptArt.org or any of the, you know, concept art 
artist. You're going to run into his name. He's a very big one. But anyways, Bobby Rebholz. 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 Um, does creatures. Really, really elegant looking creatures. And, um, you know, whenever I look at his artwork, I get inspired every single time. And every single time I'm like, I'm going to draw creatures. I'm going to draw creatures. You know, I'm so inspired. And then I never do it. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah, so I just don't do creatures. So this is immensely interesting for me that I actually went and did this. And the funny thing about this um, artwork, if I'm not wrong, because it's such a long time ago and I'm having to like remember what happened back in the day. Um, if I'm not wrong, my original intention was to do uh, a mech brush or uh, not mech brush. I, I was intending to do a mech drawing because I was really big into mech drawings, into robot drawings during the time that I did this. But for some odd reason, I just went up straight creature. You know, so originally I was going to do creature, but then, you know, I laid down my foundation and I thought maybe I will do a robot like I've been doing. But then in the end, I ended up just doing a creature. So, um, so yeah, it's really interesting. But going back to what's going on, I've talked for like six minutes already about where the idea of this painting came from. Um, so let me refresh real quick uh, about what has happened and what has transpired in the video. In the past six minutes, you have seen me lay down my colors and and just did a bunch of noise. And now I am smudging things into kind of like a shape, uh, into shape that could kind of read um so when i first laid down the whole shapes um it was all just noise you know because i do this when when i start out sometimes i don't do a sketch sometimes i just do just noise you know just to get in there and just go brave and go nuts you know and that's the reason why i thought i really was gonna do robots because i was i whenever i use a random mech brush it just kind of makes me naturally want to do robots because i keep seeing all the mech shapes but again like i said you know when i laid down all the base shapes and when i started smudging which is what i'm doing right now you know i started seeing this image of a seahorse in there somewhere and that's when i realized you know what okay we could pull off a creature after all and not have to go do the whole robotic thing that i was you know so fond of doing you know um so yeah um this ended up essentially becoming a creature after all uh instead of a robot uh which goes very well with the prompt that was given but anyway so yeah when i started smudging things around which is this period this area right right now i started seeing this shape right here which I st i'm starting to delineate with edges and with line work um basically that eye okay so i just did that i saw that eye and that's when i realized like well, okay that could be a creature it looks like a shrimp slash seahorse slash there's a bunch of things going on there that i don't even know what is going on in there so um so yeah i decided to make a creature out of it but it was it was exciting i remember being excited about it because I remember that with all the shapes that I smudged down, I remember thinking that, wow, I could really make tons of cool looking shapes out of all these colors that I laid down. Um, like the tentacles that I just did, you know, in front of his face or in front of this creature's face. I thought that that was cool, you know, like that was not intentional for me at all. You know, I just saw like a bunch of shapes in there then I realized, you know, I could make something out of that. And that's what I did. I made all those tentacles. Um, and then the process just kept going after that. You know, when I, I drew the eye and then I drew the tentacles. And then it just kept going, you know. Like, I really had no idea. I think at this point, I really had no idea what I was going to do at the top. 
you know, but then I saw the potential for horns. So I decided to add horns, you know, and then I realized that I needed to take out that top part if I was going to pull off this horn. So then I ended up with a horn in the front. And then I also have a horn, I guess, that pointed backwards or something. I'm not really sure what that thing on the back is, you know. Uh, but, you know, I just kind of just added it because I saw the shape. I'm like, well, I could detail it into something. Uh, and so I also added some highlights, you know, just to kind of get the shape to read correctly to get to for it to read better. Um, and as soon as I got like this, this main part of the face, I realized that I pretty much have it. Like I pretty much have, um, the creature that I was looking for <laughs> so um, so yeah um, so sorry I lost my train of thought um, basically what I'm trying to say was that after I formed like this part that I'm working on that's when I realized that, yeah, we are going to do the whole creature thing and whatnot. And then I just went and dived in deeper. I could have dived in deeper and like did the whole body, but I, I really had a feeling that I really just wanted to concentrate on the face, you know, because I really love that facial area. Um, so, you know, eventually I ended up cropping a lot of this out, which you'll see in a second. Um, I also love that little detail that i added right underneath his neck i'm not really sure like what that is it looks like rib cages you know like rib cages that's just sticking out of his body you know so biologically like i have no idea you know what that would what that structure would mean you know if i was to run into a creature that has this weird rib cage looking thing sticking out of it you know like i would wonder what is it what does it mean you know so uh biologically i have like no i function um that i could think of for it to exist or i can't think of a biological thing function for that specific form to exist but it exists just because it looks cool and i saw the detail the potential for detail so I did that so I thought that was cool and then like the gill thing that I'm gonna eventually do on like the top right I thought that was cool too which I'm not really working on right now um right now I'm just like defining the face some more by adding the shadows and really like adding the separations um yeah, that's really cool when I started doing that. When I started adding those shadows, I'm like, okay, that all starts to read really, really cool. Really, really better. And then uh, this part, this part that I'm working on, these gills, um, I really like it. Uh, it. It's very loose. It's not very detailed, but, you know, it's kind of fins. It, it looks kind of like a fin, kind of looks like gills. I'm, again, I'm not really sure what I was going for. It's just, you know. It's all just free form, just having fun and just kind of going with the flow. And so this is the flow that I was going with. And so I was like, hey, why not? You know, it's looking good so far. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. In all honesty, I think this is pretty much going to finish. I think this is all wrapping up. <laughs>
and here comes my cropping action uh, just to kind of help me save time I guess and just focus in on what I really wanted to focus on which was that face because it was such an interesting shape for me so yeah um what else did I do? I'm trying to remember what else did I do. Uh, I know that the lower right of the body is pretty much left loose. I, I knew that I left it loose. Uh, I didn't detail it. Um, and I darkened that area. Okay, that makes sense. Just for things to read a lot better. I went back with, I guess, the multi multiply brush. Just to kind of darken up some areas. Making it look like it's underneath. Yeah, that looks really good. And then, uh, did I go back with highlights? I don't even remember if I went back with highlights, but yeah, this was a speed bait. An hour and a half of work, I think. And I was just messing around, just sketching, having fun, and it turned out so great. Totally love it. So yeah, there it is. My Katankaris specimen. Thank you guys for watching this with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.